Hello everyone, my name is Sadia Khaf. I'm a PhD student at ETS Canada. And today we are going to be talking about how you can highlight your research potential in your CV, even if you don't have any publications beforehand. When you're applying for graduate study positions, your research potential is one of the most important skills that the professor is going to be looking for. So it's extremely important to highlight it well in your CV and your application. Today I will be sharing three tips and two recommendations that you can use to improve your CV immensely. First, let's start by the recommendations. The first obvious recommendation is do not make any obvious mistakes in your CV, for example, listing Windows or Microsoft Word as your skill. If you want to highlight that you're extremely proficient in Office Suite, you can include some certification that you have or you can specify what you're expert in, for example, VBA in Excel. But do not write Microsoft Office in general as your skill. Uh, the second thing that I would like to mention is if you can try to make your CV in LaTeX that shows the professor that your CV looks professional and you're at least proficient in using LaTeX which will be used for many scientific journal publications as well as your thesis probably. So that is a good way to highlight to your professor that you're already proficient and you can already use LaTeX. It's important to use a good template, uh, make it look neat, do not use templates that are too messy or don't have clearly defined sections. So the visual appearance of your resume should be very clean, should be very easy to understand, very uh, streamlined sequence of the things. Apart from these recommendations, let's move on to the tips right away. Even if you don't have any publications beforehand, as an engineering student, you have done some term projects and some, uh, pro some project as your final year project. For all of those projects, you have gone through the process of doing some research. You have done some literature review. You have read some papers. Uh, you have really uh, tried to explore different methods to see which method works best. And then maybe you have tried to replicate that method in your own project. So highlight those projects as well as your final year project as your research. There is a very good blog uh, written by Kathleen Proctor. I will highlight that in the link in the description. She mentions how you can highlight your research project as a research skill. Uh, there is an example in which you can see that you can highlight your research project heading under the heading of research and then you can use some bullet points to explain your role in the project or how you actually used your research skills to gather da data or maybe to do a literature review, do a comparative analysis and then uh, find out some conclusions maybe. The second most important thing that I would like to highlight is uh, you have you may have some publications that you are working on you may be in contact with some professor and have talked to them that professor I want to work on this paper with you and just decided the title of the paper and the preliminary findings maybe so if you're working on some papers or if you have already submitted some papers do not forget to list them in your CV yes you can list your unpublished work in your cv you can just write the titles the authors the journal you're planning to submit it to or if you have already submitted it you can mention the date you have submitted it to with uh, along with the title of the journal and that will uh, really really highlight your research potential in your cv the last tip that i want to highlight is that uh, if you have done any internship as a research intern or any teaching assistantship with some professor or any research intern research assistantship with some professor highlight that in your cv that really creates an impact uh, on your cv if you describe your role you can create some heading under which you can describe your role and responsibilities and if you have some space left on your CV, you can also mention the significance of the work that you have done as a research intern or as a teaching assistant. As a teaching assistant, sometimes students think that, uh, oh, my work is just uh, grading the quizzes or just making some homework assignments or even for those type of tasks, you do need to consult some books, consult some literature and then prepare these teaching materials. So it does count as research 
if you have done that do not forget to highlight that as your contribution as your research potential if you follow these steps and some general uh, recommendations and avoid obvious mistakes in your resumes i'm sure it will create a huge impact uh, on your cv and really increase your chances of getting accepted if you have any more questions please let me know if you want me to make some videos on some specific topic you can ask your questions in the comments and i will try my best to help as best as i can